Hi, welcome back to the Quantum Christmas Calendar. This is the second day, 2nd of December. I'm really grateful to be here today and uh, very welcome to you, especially you. Yes, you. Um, who am I? I work as a transformational life coach and a clear beliefs coach. I'm also a Reiki master teacher. If you're interested in any work I do, check my homepage, visiononelove.com, or my YouTube channel with the same name. So, today <clears throat> I want uh, us to talk a little bit about attention, because wherever we put our attention, that's what grows in our lives. So, today I want you to focus first on your longings and discontents, because these two are the universal signals from within us telling us that we need to grow, that we need to change something in our lives. So paying attention to those will bring you a stream of information that will get you closer in touch with your soul's purpose that comes from within. Within you, you have, you have so much potential. If we used the, our full potential, we would astound ourselves. Well, we don't. And the potential that we have within, it's so powerful. We don't realize how powerful we are within. We allow the circumstances on the, on the outside, the situations, the conditions to determine what we would really love with our lives, how we can actually live. But these are only results. That's the thermometer. On the inside we have the thermostat, and that's how we control whatever happens on the outside. And one little tip is to just look in nature. If you take this blade of grass, it doesn't care about conditions or circumstances or situations. It comes concrete on top of it, and it's just growing, because that's life. Life wants to grow and get more and get better. It doesn't compare itself. Like all these other blades of grass are, are prettier than I am or stronger than I am. Your potential within, if you can imagine this blade of grass growing through the concrete, can you imagine what power you have within? Use this power. Look at how nature works, how the trees just gives freely. It doesn't say, I'm not going to give to you because you've been a bad boy or a bad girl. It gives apples to anyone who wants to have apples. And the sun is shining for all of us. It's not like I'm not going to shine on you today because you're not good. It shines on everybody. So look at the nature and see what powers just Mother Earth has. And then look in your own power. And by looking at your longings and discontents, you start to get into your true purpose. Why are you here? We all have fingerprints that are unique. You have yours. You are here for a reason. You're here to shine your light. You're here to be the best version that you can ever be. So what life would you really love? And to start that process, you start by looking on the outside at your results. What are you happy with and what are you not so happy with? Look at the longings that you have and the discontent. They are always on the opposite. So there you get some tips from your life, the life within you that wants to grow. And also, when you make the dream, when you look into what you would truly love, don't allow the outside circumstances to interfere. Sorry, I have a phone call now. I will just turn it off. Turn the sound off. Sorry, do that. Anyhow. So, don't allow anything on the outside to determine what you can do. We always look at our results first. Oh, I cannot do this. 
I don't have the money, I don't have the education, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too this. Who am I? Oh my God, I'm going to fail. We have these ideas that are so grown into us and the brain always looks for evidence that we already believe. So we can get the proof. Ah, oh, look, what did I tell you? So, <clears throat> It's starting to make a vision, because if you don't have a vision, if you don't know where you're going, you will never get there. So this is important, and to be specific about it also, but first start to look into what it is that you really long for, and what you are discontent with, because that's the universal signals telling you that you want more out of life. And don't make your dream smaller. It's like, oh, maybe I could do this. No. Allow it to come. What would you truly love? And write everything down. And if you don't know what you would love, bring memories from your past. What made you happy in the past? When you were a little girl or boy, what did you love doing? Bring all these memories of success, when you learned how to ride the bike, when you succeeded, when you took your license, all these successes. Look what made you happy. Um, yeah. Then you also change the vibration when you look into this stuff. But we're going to talk about vibration maybe another day. Today we're talking about longings and discontents and to find in your true soul's purpose. Because you have a reason to be here. We all do. To shine the light. To, and also when we start doing this, all the voices that wants us to stay in comfort zone will start screaming, all the paradigms, oh my God. But we don't have to listen to them. We don't have to pay attention to them. We can focus on memories when you did succeed, memories when you were happy. What did you do? Yeah. <clears throat> so today I will leave you with this. I encourage you to write uh, things down because when we write things down, the brain starts thinking and also that moves the molecules uh, in another way. So, because you use all the senses, you read it, you can speak it out loud, you use the muscles to write it, you know, the feelings. And step into what you would truly, truly love in this life. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. It's your life. Make it a great one. All my love to you. Mm -hmm.